Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome back to another video with Brooklyn. How are you this marvelous Monday morning? I'm doing good. I just wanted to come on here this morning and touch bases with you all and give you all another word of encouragement. This is my morning motivation. So before we get started, I want to say please do not forget to rate, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And please leave me a comment in the comment section below if you like what I'm saying. You know, even if you don't like what I'm saying, you know, you're more than welcome to leave your comment in the comment section below. So I want to talk about integrity and, you know, having morals and things like that. You know, whatever you do, whatever you're going through in this life, do not, do not let your, do not compromise your integrity. Do not compromise your morals and your standards. Do not compromise, you know, how you view things and how you value yourself. Do not allow situations and people to manipulate your your being, you know, do not always stand firm and hold strong and hold true to yourself. You know, when you're going through things, you know, and you'll have people sometimes who are all for you when you're going through certain things. And then when you turn around, they throw you under the bus. Do not compromise your integrity. Do not compromise your standards. Don't go throw them under the bus because they threw you under the bus. Because they told all your private secrets and they told all of your um, thoughts that you all shared with each other and you were on the same page. Don't compromise your standards. You know, don't be a bus thrower. You know what I'm saying? Don't compromise. Stick firm to what you believe. No matter if anybody else believes it, if you're the only one that has them thoughts, if you're the only one that has those opinions about a certain situation, whether they're right or wrong, long as they're not harming anybody and it's for truth and it's for right, you stand firm. You hold tight to it. Don't compromise. Don't change your way of thinking and your values and your morals and your integrity for someone else. Don't change your behavior to suit their morals and their their values and their thoughts. Because that's a form of manipulation and manipulation is witchcraft. Any form of manipulation, control, um being a uh, bullying and uh just being aggressive, that's forms of witchcraft because witchcraft is nothing but manipulation and control to get someone to do what you want them to do. That's witchcraft. It don't have to be a spell, excuse me. It don't have to be a spell. It don't have to be going to a soothsayer. It don't have to be a crystal ball, reading palms, tarot cards. Witchcraft is the behavior and the action of manipulation. Okay? So... If you are in a situation where somebody wants you to conform to them and they want you to believe the way they believe and compromise, like I said, your integrity, your value system, your beliefs, you know, to go along with theirs, then you don't do that. That's manipulation. If they stab you in the back and go run and they go throw all you, all everything you said under the bus to other people that you've talked about with them or whatever the case Still do not compromise your integrity because at the end of the day, the other person is going to look like a, a dog carrying a bone. You don't want that reputation. You don't want to have that stigma that you tell everything that somebody has told you that you can't be trusted. Have some value, have some morals, have some integrity. You know, that's what, that's what high schoolers do. That's what, just people that you can't be trusted. If you can't trust a person to, to keep your word, when you compromise, when you, excuse me, when you uh, confide in them, if you confide in somebody, that means you trusted them. If you can't trust them once you find out that they uh, throwed your information all out into the world, then you 
you can't trust them with nothing in your life. You can't trust them around your home, your children, your husband, your wife. You can't trust them at all. If, they, if you can't trust somebody's word that they're going to keep what you say under wraps, then you can't trust them at all with anything, with nothing. So just cut it off and just leave them alone. Once you find out that they've done that, that's it. Because they're going to get you again and again and again. You know, if you find somebody who has a dominating spirit, they always want to hover over you. They always want to hear what you're saying to somebody else and it doesn't even include them. Move. Because eventually you're going to have to compromise your values because you're going to have to start covering up things. You're going to have to start changing your, your, your truths around, you know, to dig yourself out of holes because you don't want nobody to know A, B, and C. It's just not worth it. Do not ever, 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 ever compromise your position. Do not. You stand firm whether out of what consequences you have to take is what you have to take. But at the end of the day, you need to hold true. To who you are. Don't let anyone change your value system. And cause you to compromise. Because of fear. Because of threats. You know. Do not. You hold firm. Hold firm. Okay. So with that being said. I'm going to say feel donkey. Feel donkey means thank you very much in German. So feel donkey for watching me this morning. And choose. That's what? That's by in German. Y'all have a marvelous Monday.